Alrighty boys and welcome back to Average Aussie Adventures. In this episode we are going to do the most ridiculous campsite you've ever seen, testing out this Blue Eddy solar generator. So we're down the beach, beautiful day, should be in the boat, but let's set up camp and get into it. Alrighty, so as they say in the movies, tins before tents. Cheers. <sighs> all right, camp is all set up. We are good to go. I'll give you a little look around, eh? Popped into Freddy's Outdoors yesterday and picked up a heap of this Trailex gear. So if you spot any of the stuff in the background, that's where you get it from. It's exclusive to Freddy, so I'll give you a look. We got the big awning up. That's the bushwhacker. This is the star of the show tonight, the Blue Eddy, 2000 watt solar generator. We're gonna see if it can power the whole camp. We're charging up the O-lights, the UE booms, and I've got another little surprise for you guys. If you open up the emu wing, TV. So yeah, we're probably gonna watch a footy tonight. Uh, I'll show you the aerial. That's it up there. Tent's all set up. So yeah, picked up a nine piece cast iron cooking set. So we'll give that a lash. Don't know whether I'm gonna use the fire pit or not. Probably just cook straight on that because we got plenty of wood. Did bring some coals just in case. And how cool is an Esky on wheels? Good times. We're ready to go. Then we'll go for a fish later. So now I'm just gonna kick back, have a couple of coldies, wait for Dan the Harley man to get here, and then we're on. Cheers, boys. Okay, so the time is 3.09 p.m. Dan should be here real soon. That is the time we're turning on the Blue Eddy. We're charging as many O-lights as I could find in the car. I'm sure there's probably a few more hidden somewhere. Yui Boom, got another Yui Boom there. We're pairing the TV, we're pairing a signal booster for our mobile phones. We're gonna be charging GoPros, running LED lights, you name it. We're gonna run everything we possibly can off this thing and see if we can make it go flat in one night. It's 2000 watts, so we'll see what happens. But the cool thing is, check this out. So mobile phone. That's pretty cool. Oh. And I do have one massive surprise that I'll be setting up tonight. So make sure if you don't watch the whole video, just at least watch until it gets dark. <laughs> There's going to be something real cool going on. Come on, Dan. Let's watch a bit of telly and have a beer, I suppose. Could be worse. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the cavalry has arrived. G'day mate, how are you? Yeah, bloody good mate, yourself? G'day viewers, how are you? Yeah, good thanks, Dan. Yeah, get on more. All good? Yeah, mate. That's what happens when you don't tie stuff down. Why would you? Exactly. Time is precious, boys and girls. All right, mate, we've got a luxury camp set up over here. Yeah, right. Got the TV on currently. Yeah. The challenge is to make that thing go flat by the end of the night. We need to run everything like powered off that. So you bring your vibrators? Mate, I brought more than that. What'd you get? A vibrator. Ah. Hope it's a big one. First things first, mate. Yeet. Oh yeah, not a bad spot to go for a fly around. Yeah. 
That is mad. Not gonna lie, I sort of hoped he was gonna crash, but he seems to know what he's doing. All right, we got the telly going. We're watching the V8 supercars, which are on this weekend in Townsville. Sorry about the glare, but just sent the drone for a fly around, so I'll give you a squiz from up there where we are. And there's some lunatic flying, uh, I don't even know what they're called, death weapon. I want to try and throw him a beer, but I think he needs two hands. Alrighty, boys, update. Three hours in. We still got 90% battery. We're going hard. We've charged everything. We got two phones going on here. Talking to Mo from Garn. Surely you know who he is. But anyway, the mozzies are out. It's time to start the fire. There you go, mate. We're gonna set up the OnlyFans cam right here. Probably just clip you upside down like that. Yeah, that, that's that's good. Yep. Do a bit Night of live, vision. Bit of live streaming later on. Uh -huh. Veggie mite shapes. Can't go wrong with the Mamajamites. It's gonna be a fucking good time. Hey, yeah! Kenny B's on his way, he should be here soon. But uh, yeah, we'll get this fire cracking. What are you doing? Trying to light this fire. You want, why? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh yeah, fucking bastard. There you go. <laughs> Got him. Here's Kenny B. Did it? Yeah. Oh well, you're here now, mate. Come grab a beer, mate. Yeah. Later that same evening. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so now the boys in blue have set up a breathalyzer <laughs> right at the front of our camp. So that's pretty cool. They've got one over here now. You can't really see, but it's right there. Lucky we're all camped up. <laughs> Alrighty, footy's on now, boys. We are set up. Have a look at this for a camp. Um, up and amongst it in this contest. So uh, the Roosters will definitely bounce back from you know, the Storm game last Thursday night. Their forward pack to deliver through Victor Radley, Jared Rahagas and Taki uh, Up to the third of the... the uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, Nick Meany need to come up with something. Alrighty boys, welcome back to you. Surprise Cooking with Dan. Ready? Let's go. Welcome back to Cooking with Dan. Dan is not ready. Is it? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh. All your stuff really? is Really? Yep. All your stuff is on the table ready to go. You're making a damper. Alrighty boys, I told you there was a little bit of a surprise coming, so here it is. We got a fucking projector! <laughs> Here's the campsite. We have really shit reception, but who wants to watch a little bit of professional Australians? <laughs> fucking fucking no one. <laughs> We've all Absolutely yeah, no one. Yeah, no, it's shit. <laughs> but anyway, that was the first real video, me and only Dan. <laughs> Did so. Yeah, we only put that on just for shits and giggles, but we're not going to watch that. But there it is. You seen it? Okay, we've got a projector. Blue Wedding's still going hard, boys. 75% going hard. Uh, we've charged everything. Every single person that's walked past has charged their phone on this thing. We've got everything. We've turned the lights off so we can watch the footy. We've done that. Um, we've had dinner. Now it's tinny time, boys, so let's do that. Cheers! Good morning. The weather is amazing. Few dusty heads in camp. Oh. Well, the 
blue oat is still on 69%, so we didn't even do half of it. But I'm not finished yet. Alright, there's no fish in this ocean. Time to pack up camp now, I suppose. I do have a big surprise for you guys. It'll be in the next video, and when I say big, I mean big. The pig got a new boat. Oh yeah! I'm not gonna ruin it, but it's pretty epic. I'm happy, very, very happy. So yeah, I reckon you guys are gonna love it. So yeah, next time you see us, we'll be out on that bad boy. We better pack this shit up now. Fluidy, Andy. you need to put an Anderson plug on it. That's my only complaint, needs an Anderson plug. That's not bad. We did our best to try and flatten it. So with that Blue Eddy thing, if you can't have a petrol generator or you don't have dual battery system or set up in your car, camper, boat, that's a good idea. And you need 240 power, not a bad idea. Pretty good option. Doesn't make any noise, you can charge it with solar or on your car or mains power. So pretty nifty little invention. I'll be using that probably more on the boat than anywhere else because the 80 set up pretty well we got solar on the roof so and three batteries in it so i don't really need it but definitely be handy in the boat so yeah thanks to those guys for sending it out we took it hunting for three days as well so we gave it a real good test and yeah if you're interested in one i'll link it below yeah anyway thanks for watching we'll see you when we're in the big boat